So, hi guys. <laughs> I don't know how many times I need to make this video now. We have got some real official news now and it is in the site itself. And rather than just a news, I thought that we can give a walk through on the abstract as well to give some addition of value to this video. And before getting into this video, a short promo. And hi guys, it's official now because until yesterday in the telegram groups regarding the Spock and stuff uh, in that group, we were having the update stating that the deadline has been extended to October 17th and a lot of messages have come that uh, it's not true, we have not received information like that, but we had verified it with multiple colleges and now a Smart India Hackathon themselves have come with some official news. I think if you can go and check in their website and it is clearly given that date extended for Smart India Hackathon. Last day to register SPOC, nominate teams and submitted idea is... 31st October <laughs> so from 17th to 31st October the deadline has been extended nearly up to 30 days it was supposed to be by September 30th and the main reason is the website issue and the problem statements that have been withdrawn and it's an opportunity for everyone now and this is some real news I think you don't need to worry about uh, the truthfulness now and this is an opportunity for each one of you to enhance your presentation for the ones who have submitted it's not a problem you can work out on new ideas because multiple ideas can be submitted and now you have an opportunity for submitting so many ideas and you have enough time for that and focus on that and it will help you to get shortlisted and one query with respect to this shortlisting what if I get shortlisted in multiple problem statements? And the solution here is that until Smart India Hackathon 2019, it was working that way only. And if you get shortlisted in multiple problem statements, you will be given an option to select one problem statement. And that problem statement is the one which you are going to partake in the Smart India Hackathon finale. And uh, it may be any idea, okay? You will be given the opportunity to select and based on that, you will be going to the finale and uh, that's the information about this video and i thought rather than just uh, the video we can do something informative and i thought we can give a walkthrough on the abstract because that is the most asked thing so let me just take out the abstract which we had submitted uh, last year and this is the abstract i think you all know about a problem statement it is basically a uh, OTP alternative system that works in low network zones. So what does an abstract actually mean? It is something that is basically a one page thing which is going to give the information of your product. A person, a third person who sees your abstract needs to know what is the detail. And let me just walk through on what we would have done. Just have put the problem statement at the start. And what is the problem? Your analysis of the problem is something that would be helpful here and having it as points would be more helpful like time delay in OTP authentication, failure in low network zones, only six digits creating high possibility to hack OTPs, immense server load, need of high ma management services. And these are all some actual issues in the real world, right? And that is what we would have uh, portrayed here. And then comes our product. In this section, you are going to explain what is that you are offering to solve the above problem that has been mentioned. If you read through, what we have talked is about the problem statement and what is the reason that has been coming over and then the specific solution which we are providing and that too we have given in points and see that everything here is going to relate to this problem every solution that we are putting and this is an overview of the abstract and i think i have shared in the previous video itself and in this video too i will share and then comes the idea description what does idea description mean if you're submitting abstract why they are asking for idea description idea description is something that's going to have everything every single detail about your product what you're putting in your ppt you're going to explain it in detail because in ppt you are just given two slides right you just can provide an overview information so in idea description what you can suggest is you can add the workflow the detailed work processing the first step the second step what you have planned everything the business model everything you can add that 
and that's all about the idea description and abstract and regarding this too too if you have any clarifications you can ping us up and i think as per this smart india hackathon we have covered everything with respect to software and janathan will be joining us with respect to smart india hackathon hardware he's the winner of last year as we were unable to contact with the initial person who we planned so we'll be planning it in three videos starting from the idea submission and now as we have enough time that's not at all a problem now idea submission how they went and won the uh, smart india hackathon hardware the experience the hurdles they faced everything we'll be talking in the upcoming videos has three different parts and hope this video is helpful and the entire series is helpful and again i'm saying that whatever video we are putting it has come with 100% verification and authentication so you don't need to worry about the truthfulness and should we trust this channel or something like that okay and yesterday we didn't have a happy ending and hope we have a happy ending now and signing off Gamaliel Das. Thank you.